Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to the Ellison Education video series. Today we're playing with yarn to make pom-pom pals. If you don't know what that is, you're in for a treat. These are so cool. Here is the bunny and if you look right below, you can see the die that gives you the parts and pieces in order to make this little guy. And then next to that is the penguin. And of course, he, there's the feet and even the wings, the, the body, and you can see what he looks like made up. Next to that, there is the snowman, and he's got a scarf and a little carrot nose. And then next to that is the duck. And sometimes the duck, I've even used it to make a chick. But we're gonna make the duck today because I think the easiest way for you to understand how simple they go together is just to see how to do it. So I'm gonna start, let me move these other little guys out of the way. You need to cut two of the body because you're gonna be decorating a front and a back. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna add detail. Of course, you'd have the kids either with crayons or markers, colored pencils, watercolor, whatever's their favorite median. They're gonna go back through and color whatever parts they want to. I'm gonna keep it simple just cause it's faster. So I've colored the beak. Notice I've already colored, here's the front, here's the flip image, the back. And then I'm gonna turn one of these over, put adhesive because I want the eyeball of this little guy to have a color in there. So I'll put blue behind there. Now I'm gonna put them, stick them together, but just the head. So I'm gonna put adhesive only on the portion that is the top, the head portion. And I'm gonna lay this top one right over the other guy so that they line up. And it gives you the body loose and the head stuck together. What you wanna do then is take about a 12 inch length of yarn and bring it up and just rest it right where that adhesive ends, attaching the head to the body. At this point, it's time to add all of the yarn that's gonna make the pom-pom portion, the big puffy part in the middle. I'm gonna start in here and I will use my finger to hold this just to get it started. And I'm gonna start wrapping. This is a fun thing. Notice I'm just trapping that beginning one and I'm wrapping. How many times you wrap this will dictate how fluffy the body will be. And it doesn't need to be pulled tight. In fact, when we go back later to trim this, it actually is easier to get your scissors in there if you don't have these super tight. So don't worry about the kids having to be really precise. You're just gonna wrap and keep going until it's as puffy as you want. And I frequently do two or three layers of this. It is important that they keep this 12 inch section of yarn loose and that they don't accidentally trap it while they're wrapping. When it looks like it's as puffy as you think you want, you're gonna end up close to the head again. You just keep going back and forth and back and forth as many times as you want. And then at some point you come over, I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna make sure that I have my, my yarn loose and I'm gonna bring this guy over around the head and now I'm gonna start wrapping on this side. Now, if you want your kids to kind of develop ambidexterity, you might ask them to try to do one side left-handed and one side right-handed, it's kind of fun, but it doesn't really matter. I could turn this over like this and then continue to do it right-handed either way. For the one that I'm gonna be showing you that I, I made earlier today, I took it apart long enough to measure and it took about eight yards to make a super fluffy body. It doesn't matter where you end up. You can end up anywhere at whatever point you're gonna stop. I'm just gonna cut the yarn. And then what you wanna do is once again, make sure that this 12 inch length of yarn is up here and out of the way. And I'm gonna, with the scissors, I'm gonna separate and I'm gonna cut the yarn in order to create the pom-pom. And when you get close to the neck, be sure to move this little, this little yarn up and out of your way. As I get close, what I usually do is slide this down so I don't accidentally nick it. So when you've done one side, 
Then you just come over, do the exact same thing on the other side. Now you can see why it's maybe a little helpful if you don't wrap it really tight when you're wrapping all these layers. So when you've cut everything, finally now you get to see why we have this length of yarn. I'm going to take and I'll set it down because I'm going to slide this yarn so that it traps all of these layers together. And I'll come down here and just tie a knot. It doesn't matter if you, you know, you can do this anywhere. You can tie the knot at the top, at the bottom, but you're going to trap all these layers together. And I think it's helpful to do two or three knots. When you've done all the tying of the knots, then go back and just give this little guy a haircut. Any place where you have anything sticking out fatter than kind of the rest, just give him a little haircut. Okay, so now you've got a cool little guy. If the particular one that you're doing has feet, as this one does, I'm going to fold on the perforations. These are on the die, and the folding is going to make it so that, if you look at it, even at this point, it would stand up. Because if you go back and look at the snowman, he doesn't even have feet. So that works well. But if you have feet, all you need to do is put a little bit of adhesive on the top portion, and I just go a little bit over the perforation line on the feet. And then I'm going to, it's helpful, I think, to have it folded and to have this guy folded. And then I'm going to bring one of these in, and I'm lining up the perforation, and I'm just going to press and get my finger inside here and press. Notice how those perf lines are the fold lines, they, they align. Do the same thing on this side. Fasten this in and really push down to get his feet nicely attached. And looky there. Is that not really cool? You know, once your students learn how easy it is to make pom-pom pals, they may start designing lots more of their own.